Greetings, this is a short video on how to uh, manage your Kyocera multifunction device using the web interface. Uh, first thing you need to find out is what the IP address of the uh, device is. Uh, you bring up your uh, web browser and type in the IP address. Now I, I do have a, another video on how to get a status page that will um, allow you to get the IP address. However, um, if you know the IP address, you can type that in and here's your web interface. Now by default, Kyocera does not uh, require a login to get to the address book. Uh, however, if you are using job accounting or user logins, you will then require a, a login to get in to get to the address book but by default it does not require a login now for the address book there's three sections to the address book there's machine address book this is the address book that resides on the the machine the device itself the external address book this is an address book that uh, will reside on a server an LDAP server uh, usually something like a an Active Directory server or, or something like that. Uh, and then you have your one-touch keys. The one-touch keys is a sort of like a shortcut key for people who frequently use the uh, scanner. So, for instance, say you have 200 people in the address book. Rather than having to try and go through tons of pages just to get to your to your name or find destination you want to go to if it's somebody that needs to scan a lot you can put them in there so they can go directly to the buttons nice big buttons that have their name and go directly to that location so let's go into the machine address book first now to remove an address from the uh, address book here um, I there are some addresses in here that I need to take out. So I'll click on the address, uh, this last one I created. I click on that. And this is the address that's in there. So uh, say I want to delete this, this address. Uh, what I would do is highlight the, 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 the select box here and just hit the delete button. Say OK and it is now deleted so if we go back to the the location where that address was at it is now gone okay so yep so we only have one more de one destination in there say let's uh, say we add a, add somebody to the to the address book so we'll select select add there this is the name for the destination so it could be a person's name if you're scanning to if you're setting up a, a destination for a person or it could be a company if you're doing a fax number or something like that so we'll just call it destination name so we'll call this test 03 and this is where if test 03 has an email we'll put test 03 or 03 at abc.com oh, sorry abc.com now say this uh, this person or this uh, destination also has a folder location where they scan to a uh, scan stuff to a folder and stuff like that um, usually what will end up in the host name section here is going to be the server's name so We'll put in the server name, and then the path that it's uh, the f usually it's the folder that is uh, that is shared. So scan and say if there is uh, there if there are subfolders if you're scanning to this destination that has a subfolder, let's just add something in there. Say Joe. Say Joe has a subfolder in the scan uh, folder. And uh, this is where you'll put in the de the login information for that that folder. So we'll just say 
Joe, and then his password, whatever his password is. Notice that the 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 letters don't show up; they just have little dots. And this test button will allow you to test the connection to that folder. If you hit the test button and you have a connection OK, then you know that that all your information that you provided was good. If you get an error, one of these four things is is uh, there's a mistake in it or something like that to get the error, or there's just no connectivity to that server. But normally. Once you have these this information in here, you hit the test button. It'll say okay. Now, if you have a uh, scan to an FTP uh, server, this is where you set that up. This will be the server uh, server's name that you're scanning to. Um, if you have uh, subfolders within the, the the main FTP uh, site, then you put the subfolders in there, and then this is where you put in the user username and, and password for to allow it to scan to that FTP server also has a convenient test button so you can test the test the connectivity to that to the scan location uh, if this were a fax uh, destination then you just put in uh, the fax numbers you put in however however you you uh, enter the dial the number on the control panel is how you would put it here once you're done you hit submit now it saves all that information on in the address book okay and it tells you wants to make sure that that you want to that has been registered say okay um, notice that all the details for all these uh, users have I have email except for Bill here has also has a folder but if we go to the location that we created we'll see that test 3 has an email a folder and a fax all in one so you don't have to make uh, say for instance test 3 has a fax at home and sometimes people scan or fax stuff to them you can actually uh, you don't have to separate them they they can all be in one under one entry in the address book now to go to set them up on the one touch keys select uh, one touch here and these are the one touch keys now to put uh, one of the destinations in here into a one touch keys you just select the the key that you want to go to hit settings now you can type in a different name up here uh, but normally the easiest way to do it is I just go directly to the address book once you're in the address book it will then uh, go you will go to the destination that you want to put in the the one touch keys so if we went to um, test 3 notice that's 32 32 and 32 there's one for for uh, email one for folder and one for fax and these are the little icons that tell you so the the one touch keys that one one touch key on, can only go to one uh, destination whether it's email or if you set it in as a, f a folder or a, a fax so in this case we'll just say test 3 wants the scan to email to be in the one touch and once you highlight the little uh, button there hit submit and notice that automatically puts test 3 on the on display name gives says that it's email for test 3 submit again and now test 3 is now in position 2 say we want to put on key 4 so you you don't have to put it you know white run one right after the other you can actually uh, mix and match whoever goes on 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 those keys. Say let's go back to test three and uh, put the fax number there. So you highlight that. Tell it to submit. Here test three again. Here's the fax for test three. Submit. And now 
test three facts is now in position four and we skip position three you can move these around uh, however you want it you can just go delete that it'll delete the it'll delete the the one touch key destination but will not delete that from the address book you can only delete destinations from within the address book so that's uh, our little video here and thank you for watching hope this helped